Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is six tips on what not to do while acting. Let's get into the video. I scoured the internet to find a video idea and I came up with what not to do on set. So these are the six tips. Number one, not knowing how to behave on set. You don't want to act like a complete crazy nut on set. You don't want to act like the person that nobody wants to hire again. When you get on set, you need to know how to behave on set. You need to know that when they say quiet, it means quiet. Don't talk. What you can do is you can look on the internet for how to behave on set. Your first time on set, that's great, but please know how to act on set. The second tip is not coming to set prepared. Obviously, you want to know your lines. You want to know your actions, how you're going to react, how you're going to act. Don't come unprepared. Come with all your clothing that you need. Come hair and makeup ready. Come knowing your lines. Do not come unprepared. Tip number three, not accepting your mistakes and learning from them. So if you make a mistake, you need to own up to it and not be like, well, I didn't. That person acted wrong. And so I'm just reacting to their reaction or their acting. No, if you make a mistake, you need to be the person to be like, yes, I did. Thank you for letting me know and fix the problem. Take redirection too. That's part of the not, not owning up to your mistakes and learning from them. Learning from them also means redirection, and that's important. So you need to accept any mistakes that you make on set and own up to them and learn from them. Tip number four, not focusing on what you're doing. You need to focus on what you're doing, which in this case is acting. You need to focus on the acting, or if you're behind the scenes, you're working, whatever, if you're a PA, you need to focus on what you're doing, what they're having you do at that moment in time. Don't just do whatever you want. You need to focus on what you're doing and care about what you're doing. This one doesn't have not at the front, but this is six tips on not, on what not to do. Ask for a do-over, so you're not supposed to ask for a do-over. Asking for a do-over is not a good idea, especially if the director really, really likes that take and the way you delivered it. If you do ask for another take, you better deliver a different performance that's as good or better than the one you just delivered. You don't want to do it the same way or worse than the way one you just did that he liked or she liked. And the last tip is be one dimensional. Don't be one dimensional. You want to be three dimensional because you want to really make your character pop. You don't want to just deliver the lines in a monotone voice just like this and not move, no facial expression, nothing. If like I acted like that, it would be awful because you're just standing there going like this. Use your hands, use your emotions, use your face. You can totally say everything you want to say with a really good line that's not one dimensional by even just inflecting certain words or pointing or gesturing, making your voice go a little bit higher or a little bit lower, scrunch your eyebrows together, frown, smile, something that makes your character not one dimensional. The last thing you want to do is be one dimensional. You want to be 3D, you want to be 2D, something that's not flat like paper, because everyone knows paper's flat. You don't want to be paper. Those are the six tips on what not to do while acting on set. If you guys would like to see any other acting tip videos and you have ideas or you want to see certain videos from me, go ahead and drop those in the comments and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Not accepting your mistake. Mm -mm. Hmm.